original McNabb was three people taking a salmon and two stags from three different estates. Nearly a century after the author John Buchan brought out his famous book John McNabb, it has transmogrified into a stag, a salmon and a grouse or two in a single day on a single estate. Snog the cook too and that's a royal. And we can't possibly say what an imperial is. To be honest, we're pretty good at them. We haven't failed yet, be it in Ireland with the ONAB or travelling the length of the UK in the Ferrari McNab. Today we are out in Scotland with our American friend Jason Bruce. He's the star of the series Headhunter Chronicles on US TV. However, this time we're taking a back seat. Casual onlookers as Jason's cameraman Cody tries to get the money shots and harassed sporting agent Lackey Smith from Inverness Shire tries to make the whole thing happen. My expectations on the McNabb is uh, hopefully we're going to pull this red stag off this morning and then get to fishing. I heard that the salmon's going to be the really tough one and then we'll get our grouse. So, uh, it's, uh, so it's going to be a lot of action in one day. I'm sure he's going to be pretty, pretty skilled at making the shot. I trust him. I'm going to be over his shoulder. so. I'll have the shot. Right I'll have a shot right here. Right here. I'm pumped. First stop is a stag, high in the hills above the Bewley River. Richard Smith is the stalker here, Lackey's man on the ground. The stags are thinking about rutting and are moving from one side of the valley to the other. Hear that? Yeah. We just gotta find them now. Normally stalking takes place on the hill, but Lackey and Richard reckon now's a good time to ambush a stag crossing the glen. But it's not easy. Whatever the stags were doing yesterday, they are not doing it today. We're, we're better utilising the time. We've got you know, mm -hmm. less to date to scratch my head to think about a stag, but we get a call later on. You give me a call when you get in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the action takes place, yeah, sure it takes can. place fast, and we're the <laughs> wrong <laughs> end of the glen. By the time we get there, Jason has shot his beast. I'm glad I don't have to explain to editor David why there's a dead deer, but no shot deer. Two years ago, he'd have been a heavier rack than that. Rack, that's American. He is American. <laughs> Hand you noticed. You can call it a trophy if you want to be European. Or the heed if you want to be Scottish. <laughs> hey Jason, you're going to need all the help you can get today. Here we go, a little, little bit of that down. Should do the trick. What Cheers. do we have? Cheers. We've got tomato. Tomato. 12 year old. Good luck. <laughs> that's what than, we need. Better than breakfast, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to need it for the salmon. Aye, that's it. Because I didn't tell you I'm not much of a fisherman. No. <laughs> Jason's relief is palpable. First of the three he wants is done, and it's still not even 9am. We've done as much as we can to help Jason with his trip. It's a bit like an exchange trip at school. He sorts us out with coyote and bear in the States, and we show him a good time here. It's fascinating to talk about the differences in hunting culture. He's a hunting TV star available on cable, endorsed by possibly the biggest name in global hunting, Jim Shockey. Jason is an amazing hunter. I, you know, I bump into him or his footprints in some of the strangest corners of the world, like literally right on the border with uh, Afghanistan in Iran. You know, Jason is a fearless, fearless hunter. He's the real deal, and I have a ton of respect for him. So Jason's got a stag in the bag. All we need now is a fish on a dish, and we seem to have arrived at a canal. Luckily, there's a river just behind it. There is no rest on a McNabb day, so off we go to what Lackey reckons will be the trickiest um, bit, the salmon. We know Lackey is worried about achieving it all in a day, but what about Jason and his cameraman? Failure on any of these quarry could ruin the whole production. That's a, that's a pretty good fly you got there. Yeah, it's not really a fly, but it's uh, kind of a rainbow looking lure. And I'm uh, not sure really the technique. I've actually caught salmon before in the state of Washington and we actually drifted a, in a drift boat. Pretty much new to me, so any type of fishing is kind of sort of new to me. We're gonna get you spay casting before the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. We're gonna actually fly fish for a couple hours and then go to the spinning rig. Yeah. The River Ness flows out of the bottom of Loch Ness. It's normally a productive river. There are fish here, but the water is low. Jason tries fly fishing, but, well, he's American, so don't shoot him. He reverts to the Toby Spoon. Generally, the salmon would be considered the harder to get of those three. Um, we had 10 fish here last week. 
you know, so there is every chance he will get a salmon. I'm going to do my best to try and get him a salmon. Uh, as I say, no guarantee in it, but I think what you've done, you've gone out, you've got a stag this morning, uh, come in here, get a couple hours fishing in here. If we get a, if we get a salmon, then the grouse is probably the easiest to get out of those three. So yeah, you, it looks like you're, you're going with a good chance anyway. No joy on the fish front for Jason yet, so we're going to take a break from casting and try for grouse. We've arranged to meet a dog handler and a beater on a moor in the Monatliet Hills. Today it's a wirehaired Vizsla that's working. Have you shot over these dogs before? Not that kind of dog. Never over some English pointers and then over German short air pointers. We spot the grouse on the ground and Jason connects. Takes the pressure off now if I can just teach Jason how to catch fish. I don't know how that's going to happen, but I can't even catch fish, so let's go fishing. <laughs> if we can't catch a fish tonight, uh, Blackie's buying fish and chips in town. If, hopefully we don't get kicked out. We got kicked out of like three restaurants last night. Got called redneck at the bar. So. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie, for reminding me of this. I'm very grateful to you. I'm sure we'll get a fish. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Let's well, that's a very relieved uh, American hunting star there, and probably an even more relieved production bloke. That's uh, a grouse on the floor of a windy moor. And we've got a stag, as I say, in the bag. Just one more thing to go. It's the fish! It's back to the river Ness. The fish we want doesn't have to be huge. A Loch Ness tiddler will do. Quite a number of the people who do want to do a McNabb aren't ardent fishers. And that, that in itself is a big ask, because if you came here purely to salmon fish, you wouldn't really just expect you're going to roll up on day one, 10 minutes later catch a salmon. So, you know, it is a big ask, but it is possible, you it, know. It is possible. It's about making it as possible as you can. Well, that's it. it. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, Mother Nature's got the last 10% on the argument, whatever we all try and do. Jason catches a trout. He hooks and loses a salmon. Finally, he hooks a fish and the gilly releases it so quickly we don't capture it on film. Cody does, however, so you'll have to wait until the middle of 2014 to see it. Jason Salmon may have been on a spinner rather than the more traditional fly, but that's owing to conditions. The lovely thing about a McNabb is you can make it up as you go along. You will be able to see this episode of Jason's Headhunter Chronicles Series 5 on Sportsman Channel in July 2014, and you can be kept posted by visiting headhunterchronicles.com. However, for 2013 we can announce that Jason is allowing us to run his previous adventures on Field Sports Channel, so stay tuned. And finally, for a McNabb week of your very own, drop Lackey Smith an email, ls at highlandsporting.com.